So, I'm in the mood for doing some urban exploration. So you can see I got my sunglasses on so that nobody can recognize me in case I might be tempted to do some illegal things. Which of course I won't, but anyway. So, unfortunately, as you can see, there is nothing really urban about this place. So let's not call it urban exploration, let's call it rural explo exploration. The thing I'm going to explore is this barn or whatever it is. And as you can see, it has a massive steel door in front of it with some equally massive locks, two of them. So somebody seems to store something very precious inside. Okay, let's see, there is a side door, some interesting graffiti here. Okay, there is some more graffiti, kind of an octopus or whatever. But it's not really an octopus, it has four legs, so maybe a quadrupus. There is another one with three legs, okay. And another one with, I don't know, two large legs and two little ones. So the artist seems to be the PBF word. Can I say the F word? Yes, I think I can say the F word. Because I'm just quoting what is painted on the wall here. The PB fuck. Whatever PB means, I don't know. Here's some text. Polyp, Hamburg, Germany. Okay, so this seems to be the guy who painted these, or sprayed these graffitis and looks like he is from Hamburg, Germany. I still don't know if it's the same guy as this PBF word. So maybe P stands for polyp, whatever. Now let's continue. What have we got here? Can't read the letters, but we have this triangle or pyramid with the eye inside, which you can also find on the dollar note, I think, and which seems to have a specific meaning. So it's getting a little bit scary. And look at this. There's a pentagram with 666, the number of the beast, getting even more scary. One. Okay, what else have we got here? <clears throat> Scary rabbit with huge ears and a door, or at least something that used to be a door. Another scary creature with a scar on the forehead. Maybe also some kind of, I don't know, rabbit, yeah. Looks like some, some, some kind of monster rabbit. What else? Okay, here we got the inevitable dick with balls and some smileys. F95 seems to be another graffiti artist. SMB and what is this? ASYL Asylum. So, yeah, maybe this used to be some kind of an asylum for people who yeah, were not welcome anywhere else. Okay, another thing. And okay, here's a, what used to be a door. And there's a hole inside, so maybe maybe we can have a look into the protected room with the locks 
on the door. So all I can see is some some wood. So there's another hole, but looks like we cannot we cannot go inside. Okay, so this seems to be the part that is accessible. Well, let's see if if I can can find another entrance somewhere. You have another door, but it looks like it doesn't lead anywhere. Okay, so what I'm going to try now is just go around here, turn right and see if I can find some some other entrance on the back side, maybe. Okay. Some garbage as usual in places like that. Okay, this is the door we have seen. Um, oh, here's another door. It's a little bit difficult, I think, to to get in there because of all this, all these bushes in front of it. Let's see. Have a look at the back side. Okay, it seems to be closed off. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna try to to get in through some of these doors. Uh, Gonna do this. Um, maybe okay. So this looks possible. Uh, let's see. Just one room. Ah, but I can go to the other side. So this seems to be another graffiti artist. It's from 2016, quite old. Dip, dip hex, however you pronounce it. And this is a California. A California. So Akali, Bolaton Akali is the next the next little town here. And it's quite funny, Akali Fornia. So like Akali and California. Okay. F95 again, whatever it means. Another polyp. room. Oh, nice cat. Okay, so you can read it yourself. This used to be some kind of bathroom. Toilet. No toilet paper and sar, the Hungarian word for shit. Oh, so this is actually larger than I thought, and it's not just 
just a little barn. Okay, mattress. Somebody used to have slept here. This used to be another bathroom with with a shower or something. And nice little room with a bed and a chair and some. Let's see what that is. It's a phone book from what year? I can't see it. It's even, even a lamp. I wonder if there is still uh, electricity here. this large room here and okay there are some other rooms which I which I haven't explored so far hope there is nobody in there at least nobody that isn't really that nice Uh, not sure if I can get in there somehow. It looks like oh, maybe I need to move this away. No, can't open. But so this is probably this large room where with these locks in front of them, and as you can see. Oh, it's nothing really valuable stored inside. It's just some, 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 some wood. Okay. So I, I don't know why this guy put these huge doors and the locks in front of this room while everything else is still uh, open. This is the hook, whatever. Oh, this is the PB team. So, looks like it's not only a single person, but a whole team. Maybe one member painting the octopuses, the other ones painting these cats. So this is really this is really nice. So I really like the colors and the way it is it is painted. Okay. I think that's it. So the remaining difficult task will be to to get out once again. I hope nobody stole my bike. So let's see. Actually, it's not that difficult. Okay. Nice little rural explanation. <laughs> nice little rural ex. I, I really have difficulty with this word. So let's, let's say it again. Rural exploration. Okay, I think that's it for today.
gonna continue my bike tour and have a nice time.